everybody today we're doing uh, an unboxing of a GeForce GTX 780 uh, EVGA graphics card this is a super clocked edition so out of the box it comes out super clocked so you don't have to worry about messing with uh, programs and overclocking it yourself uh, this is not a review unit, this is a retail purchased unit. I bought it from Amazon. They're currently out of stock and it, as of this recording it says that they will be back in stock on June 13th. There are other sellers that are selling them for more money, but I suggest you just wait and get it through Amazon don't don't overpay for it they get stock often um, since it's a super clocked edition it's about ten dollars more than the regular edition but ten dollars more is pretty much nothing for you not having to worry about overclocking it so let's get to it it has a four-way SLI on the back you have um, different languages, general features, key features, um, overview of the card, how it looks on the side, what ports you have. You have a uh, display port, HDMI, and DVI. It's a super clocked GeForce GTX 780. On the side, it says that it's NVIDIA Shield ready. So, if you're planning on purchasing their um, handheld device, then it's ready to stream to that device. Okay, let's open the box. box and you have your package card user manuals and drivers There's a driver disk. I don't know, it depends what time you get it. If you get it right away, then you probably have the current driver. If you get it later on, you may have to go online and upgrade your drivers. Just do it through NVIDIA Experience. That checks your uh, drivers to see if you have the current driver or not, and it uh, also gives you an optimal settings for for your games so driver CD you have a sticker that you can put on your computer warning that this card gets hot G4 GTX quick installation guide pretty much tells you which ports it has. Important notice is a cutting cutting edge technology. Blah blah blah. Seven hundred series. These are the stickers that you get. And 
and this is a poster that you get with it. High-end cards tend to have posters with them. And that's how the poster looks. EVG. Game of Pawns. Okay, we have some packaging. This looks like a DVI to regular VGA adapter. This is a six pin to a regular power splitter. And this is your 8 pin that splits into two 6 pin connectors. User's manual. An installation guide. And that's the box with the cart main key features of this superclocked edition it comes with uh, 3 gigabytes GDDR5 384 bit memory base clock is 941 megahertz boost clock is 993 megahertz memory clock is 6008 megahertz effective CUDA cores 2304 so 2004 so we already talked about 3072 megabytes GDDR memory support for NVIDIA TXAA, NVIDIA GPU Boost 2.0 NVIDIA Physics N, FXAA it is a three-way SLI ready and it's a PCI 3.0 connector. So this is the card, let's get it open. So here you can see the card has a G-Force writing on the top I guess you can see this better and this is supposed to change color I haven't checked that yet but uh, once I install it if it changes color I'll just insert this video at the end how it changes color has a fan it takes the air from the vent on the back pulls it over and kicks it back out through the right here. So on the side you have uh, your DVI, your regular DVI and DVD, DVI um, dual link. This is a HDMI port. It's a full-size HDMI not, not a micro HDMI or any other and this is your display port on the top you have 8 pin connector and a 6 pin connector the bottom is a PCI 3 connection so make sure you check with your motherboard to make to ensure that it supports this type of connection and that's pretty much it. This is how the card looks. On top right here you have your SL SLI bridge connectors if you want to do a dual SLI. Since this card supports up to four 
different displays connected at the same time. If you do dual card, you'll have a four monitor capability of four monitors being connected. And this is pretty much it. That's what's in the box. That's what you get with the retail packaging. Thanks for watching. Like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel. Have a nice day. Here's the card after the installation. As I said in the video, the writing does light up. As you can see. One thing I didn't mention, make sure that your case allows this for this card to be installed. Because it's about 11 inches long. So if you have limited space in between your base right here and where the car ends then this card will not fit. I've upgraded from uh, NVIDIA 550 Ti cards don't need them anymore so if you guys are interested I'm thinking about giving them away on this channel to the subscribers so if you're interested in getting this card let me know and then I'll set up a giveaway. They're about six months old each and I had them SLI bridged. So again, like the video, thanks for watching.